Hey guys, it's Jimmy. Um, I'm here in the, my backyard right next to the electrical and hopefully the air conditioner isn't too loud. Um, just going to go briefly over all the uh, aspects of the electrical portion of the installation, um, not including the rooftop portion which I covered in the last video. Um, primarily this time I'm just going to go over what's all the different boxes back here, um, but also how I ran it into my attic and um, um, so let's let's get into it. Okay, so I, you can't really see the bottom of the solar deck from here, but uh, you can see the blue. I use I, I actually ended up using Smurf tube. It's coming connecting into the solar decks and running up in that direction. I'll take you around. Okay, you can see the Smurf tube there. Um, it goes through. Some holes I made in the in the uh, drywall here in the in the garage, and then goes r directly into the attic. Um, uh, some of them combine up with, or the I think the one on the right there would combine up with the panels uh, in the in the main portion of my roof and the front. Um, the other one goes takes a, a, t a le from here takes a left turn and goes into a junction box and combines up with another. Uh, string and goes down into the combiner box. I'm not actually going to go up into the attic right now because uh, it's upper 80s, maybe 90 degrees here, humid, and the attic is going to be probably like 100, 120 or more. I don't know. It's, I, when I was up there and it wasn't even this hot, it, it was pretty ridiculous. So, like I said before, everything in the everything in the attic is Smurf tube going into the junction box, which is just a standard uh, indoor electrical junction box in the attic. And then from the junction box, I'm using, you can see right up there, a little bit of flexible conduit. That's a non-metallic liquid tight, you know, right, so basically outdoor rated conduit. I use these, um, connect, these, the connectors I used are also outdoor rated. They're almost kind of like a shark bite connector, um, but they're meant for electrical. Um, I don't, if, you've, if you've ever done any plumbing, basically it's got a little teeth on and a rubber gasket and connects in that way. So outside here I used all um, con uh, PVC conduit. And that was per the, per the recommendation of my electrician. And so it goes down into this combiner box. And if you've ever, if you've never seen the combiner box, basically it's just there's two breakers, one for each of the of the strings, and then this breaker is another. The third breaker is for the envoy, which is um, the the part that connects to the internet and and controls the app, or the and, and sends the data for the app. I had to put all these stickers on. Project Solar sent a bunch of stickers, so I attached those. Um, and then I, I can open up this panel in just a second, but I'll give you the overview. Um, basically going down straight into the house into, and then connecting into the panel are the uh, consumption CTs, the neutral and the ground wires. And those are just connecting into the panel. Um, I'll open this up so you can get a, get a glimpse. And I'll put a, actually maybe I'll just take a picture. You know what? I'm not going to take the panel off. Okay, so from the junction box we have liquid tight. And you can see a little bit there and it's connecting in through a, another outdoor. So the liquid tight is not metallic liquid tight. It's cheap, kind of flexible con conduit that's rated for outdoors. Um, then I have a connector that, that transitions over to PVC conduit because that's what my, the electrician I'm, I'm, I used suggested. Um, and then it feeds into this combiner box, which is basically just a, a, a couple breakers for the two strings of, of panels and then a breaker for the envoy, which connects, which is up here and connects the system to the internet and does all the monitoring 
And then inside, actually, and then underneath here, there's a um, production CT to measure all of my produ solar production. Um, and then you can see this conduit here goes down into my basement and then connects directly to the panel. That's where the, the uh, consumption CT is, so measure how much electricity I'm using, as well as the neutral and the ground wires are connecting into, the, into my main, main panel downstairs in the basement. Um, so I don't, I don't know if I, I don't remember if I said this, but um, I was supposed to get um, the Enphase um, IQ7 Plus, but apparently their supplier didn't have them, so I was actually given a free upgrade to the IQ8 Plus, as well as the upgraded modern Enphase um, combiner box, which has this, it's the same, basically the same, almost the same combiner box, but it has this metallic -y kind of panel on the front to make it look a little nicer. So from there it goes into uh, an AC disconnect. Um, Project Solar made sure I had a fused disconnect. I can actually open this up to show you. Um, there, so there's the fuses and connects down. My electrician wasn't sure why I needed the fused one. He didn't seem to know why, but Project Solar insisted that, that, that I needed it. Um, I'm guessing it's because of the way that it's um, connecting before it actually enters my, it's connecting prior to the to this meter. So then it goes into this meter, which I'm not gonna open up because there are live wires in there um, and I don't wanna be unsafe. And then it goes down from here into this meter pedestal and then we had to replace, I can, I can't open that because it's it's sealed by the, or it's got the little lock thingy from the power company. Um, but we had to replace the the, the service line lugs, so the, the line side, um, and that with dual position lugs so I can connect the wire coming from this um, production meter into one of the positions and then the same service lines that came in were in the other position. So that was that was the piece that I had the power com company come out and shut off the power and an electrician, a friend of mine an electrician, did, did that work, though I actually helped him. So he was he, he, had, he did about 15 to minutes to half an hour worth, worth of work and so that's the that's the overview of uh, of the electrical.